from the gosh darn 40 yard dash. dash. What the heck? Dude, that sprint of like uh, I was We're done. That run? run. How do we do the uh Oh, you want me to do this one? No. Whoa. Wow. On, Noah. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> to another fabulous, fantastic. Give me well another F adjective. Well planned. Uh, androgynous. Spectacularino. Welcome to Clickbait Sports. We have a great show lined up for you guys today. Joining me, it is none other than Five Points Vids, Urinating Tree, and mm. the one and only reigning mm. fan of the year, TDG reigning. Tom. Defending. I would love to have to defend is, this every year. Like I have to fight the new fan it, of the year. Yes, that would be dope. that would be like, amazing. Yeah. And aren't you headed to a WrestleMania here too? Coming Listen, up. Listen, bro. I'm going to Raw on Monday. I'm so excited because it's in Brooklyn. So I'm going there, and then I will be in Philly for two days, going to Mania. I haven't been since 24, so it's been 16 nice. years. I'm so wow. pumped, man. Wow. Oh, are so you going excited. like as a guest or just to have? No, fun? no, no. Like I bought no. So my dad, oh. um, I like he hasn't because he took when we were kids. He took me to 23, which is in Detroit, and we had like obstructed view behind the stage like nosebleed tippy oh, top yeah. seats and mm -hmm. then we went to 24 which was in florida for like rick flair's last wwe match and then um like so this was kind of like me repaying him and so i'm taking my dad and we're gonna go oh, uh, to mania and i got sweet. like I, I spent money and i was like all right like we're gonna have an experience like it'll, it'll be cool so if you nice. guys are watching look for tom grossi at wrestlemania oh you'll but see me you're gonna have a sign that says NFL fan of the year. Like no, you should I'm not just gonna be bring that. Yeah. I'm not I was gonna be that narcissist. I was wondering if you were gonna have a sign or something that to recognize you. Oh well, I am sure we'll be able to recognize Tom. I just I just wanna say there was do you guys remember WC or ECW? ECW oh, yeah. yes. Somebody Amber brought Steve. a sign one time and I remember seeing it in the crowd. All it was was the word ass. And they just had yep. just it was just ass. Hey, and like I love the whole thought process of that person. Like nothing stopped that person from painting that sign, getting to the arena. Like there was nobody that was like, dude, you should not bring that sign. There was just a complete, you know, completion of their vision. And Back in the day, TV. I mean, like during like the Attitude Era and stuff, the signs that would be brought were like Ooh, insane. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. but also the content was insane. So mm -hmm. I'm yes. not, but go baseball. Yes. Hey, baseball no, is, go is, I've got it on my screen right now. It. Yep. I got it in the background right there. The Cardinals are getting bodied. But anyway, Scooter, can you sheepdog us into what we're, whatever we're talking about? Yes. Uh, let's very, transition very to great. some more football action in action is exactly what the Dallas Cowboys have not been doing this free agency period. Um, in fact, we've also gone as far as to say, you know what? We're going to be willing to let our franchise quarterback play out his contract along with the head coach. Well, what are your guys there. thoughts on hearing this when you first heard this? Well, so, because, like, the only reference point I had besides, like, other Cowboys fans was you, Scooter. And, like, you were, like, on clickbait. You said, I think it was, like, post-Super Bowl. You're like, they have to do something with Dak's contract, like, right? Because they owe him a kajillion dollars. Mm -hmm. So, also, he wants to know if there's going to be an NFC East meeting for next season. Um, but, there you go. But, yeah, no, I I kind of like this move because if the Cowboys don't do well this season, you, we've already talked about this. There are going to be massive changes with the Cowboys. First, you're, of course, you're looking at head coach with Mike McCarthy. But then mm -hmm. I think if there is a struggling, whether they get bounced in the wild card or like, you know, whatever, I think you could see a change of quarterback, which is difficult to say because that organization loves Dak Prescott. Mm -hmm. Like they love him. Mm -hmm. So like, I think it would have to go really, really bad for him not to get any type of deal but then he might also be able to get a, a bigger deal elsewhere for a QB needy team. Before responding to that, I'll let a uh, five or tree jump in with. Their I, I will say something. I think what 
Jerry Jones in his old age was uh, is when he said all in, I think he just mispronounced last dance because this just reeks of their last opportunity, really. Because clearly, if, if, if they wanted Dak to come back, to me, they would have already done this deal. And if Dak want to come back, to me, they would have already done this deal. I think Dak, whether he has a good or bad year, even if he has a cruddy year, he's going to get $60 million a year. Of course. Some, money, some dumbass team. Yeah. Is gonna pay him that money, and it could be the New York Giants. And then <laughs> you and me, Scooter, we're gonna have to exchange, you know, some type of <laughs> condolences or whatever. But someone will give him his bag. I don't get why it's not the Cowboys. It just seems it just reeks of it's not. It, there's no such thing as put up or shut up when it comes to Jerry Jones. When he loves you, he he get he busts out the checkbook. He does. So, I don't get why this hasn't happened. That's I'm going to ask thought. a rhetorical question. Five, would you rather have J.J. McCarthy or <laughs> Dak Prescott at $60 million a year? Because <laughs> it looks like it's going to be one or the other. I would rather you – I would stand like this, right, and then you can run up and then kick me in the balls as hard as you can than either of those options. That is ridiculous. Why would you put that juju on me? We're getting J.J. McCarthy. Actually, I think McCarthy might actually go before six. Now, no, that it his, might be weird. his tape, like everyone – so I've been watching, and the analysts like Alex Rollins, Coleman, everyone is saying, you know, May's footwork is crap. He throws some wild balls. He makes some True. incorrect reads, and they're looking Easy. at McCarthy's tape. McCarthy makes good decisions. Like it's really hard. Like his stock keeps rising. I you meant Mike more... McCarthy for a second. Not Mike I was, McCarthy. I was like, no, JJ. I was like, I don't know about Again, those decisions. People are right? sleeping on Jaden Daniels. Like I think it could be very realistic that the Giants are forced into a Joe Alt or a wide receiver. Uh, it, if Mar, who's the other guy? Um, Malik, Malik neighbors. Neighbors. Dude, neighbors would they be could, a good. They could. They could end up with neighbors. So like the Giants might not even be faced with that. So, but. I don't want either of Dak Prescott would or you, uh, JJ McCarthy. Would you mind five? Sorry, Scooter. Yeah, I want you to do the Cowboys. Would you mind five? Like, if they just went and like took like one of the best wide receivers in the draft and like listen, not at all. We'll see how Daniel Jones does. Like, it is what it is. Like, you know, and just see how for another year, and then we'll go get another quarterback if needed, whether it's free agency or the draft. D Daniel Jones has been here for four years. This will be his fifth to come yeah. up. He has never had a number one wide receiver. He's had. They've rolled out Golden Tate. And yeah. freaking oh, what was that? Not just, me. Did y'all hear that? Yeah, it wasn't yeah. Me. Did the audience hear that? His moments? I, well, yeah, they I, had I, Golden I, Tate. I, they put Kenny Galladay out there, who might as well have been instantly inserted onto a milk that's carton because I saw they him try, but none of them have worked. Yeah, so good. So. Gentlemen, they have not drafted well. I mean, they they they, they relied on Saquon, and he's just gone. So mm -hmm. I don't okay. know if if they get a number one. Still, doesn't matter. If they get a number one wide receiver and Daniel Jones is gone, great. You got your wide receiver. Like, fine. Let, let me respond to some of this foolishness that I've been hearing uh, thus far Foolish. on this stream. Yes. Let me, let me first respond to what Tom was saying, how he thinks that this could be the last hurrah for Dak, right, where everything's set up, basically. Let me guys tell you something right now. There is a 0% chance that Dak Prescott is not – quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys next season. Zero percent chance. The only thing that's happening here is what has happened. The same thing happened with Romo. Posturing. We are seeing the Jones family posture. They're trying to get Dak to take the lowest amount of money possible. The exact same thing they did to Tony Romo. Hardest work in common. Dak will be a Cowboy. It's just a matter of when. I think a deal actually gets done during the season. Trey Lance is there to try and scare Dak into taking less money as well. This is all just posturing. It's all posturing. Uh, so I don't what, there is what, no the world. What and is the reason the why the reason why Dak will be the quarterback of the future is because Jerry Jones and his son Stephen Jones realized the same thing I realized. And that is before Tony Romo and before Dak Prescott, we were in quarterback foolishness 
or ever. And we're not going back to that. We're not going back to that. Dak, no matter how you feel about him, is a top 10 quarterback in this league, which is why he will never, ever be let go, let go, especially to the New York Giants. There is a 0% possibility of Dak ever playing on the New York Giants. Uh, go ahead, Bob. What, what is your response? Oh, no, no, no. Just, just clip this. So when he's playing for the please, Giants please, next year. Please clip this. Because will, we used to have listen, a guy at quarterback named Stephen McGee. Do you know who that is? Because <laughs> Stephen I knew, McGee. We had yeah, a old man baseball for a bit. player. Mm-hmm. A baseball for player John was our quarterback. Quincy Carter was the best of the bunch. You don't understand. Mm-hmm. We are not going back. Did, we have our Carter, so, me, Okay, It's so, all posture. No, I mean, mean, he was there briefly. I mean, uh, dude, don't you want to have Drew Henson back? Come on. Wasn't Kyle Orton there? Yeah, but Scooter, so to that point, right? Because like I said, like the organization loves Dak. Like they do. Like, dude, even like just going on the tour, they, they all they do is talk about how great Dak is. So my question is like, what happens? So you think it's McCarthy? Like this is his last hurrah if they don't, if we don't some level if of success. We don't win more than two games in the playoffs. Mike McCarthy, not that. Mike McCarthy is gone. That's so the you don't think overall. Dak is in any jeopardy whatsoever. Zero percent chance. I don't. And the fans who are saying let Dak walk are foolish. They do not understand the cap hits that will happen even if we let Dak walk. We let Dak walk. I think we're paying. We're still paying Dak twenty five million dollars if we let him walk. It is I mean, the dumbest. Broncos did worse. <laughs> It is See, the, right. thing, the thing I don't get, I want to go back to something that you said, though, like, and is the posturing. Why posture? If he's your guy, give him his bag. Like, do you you see this all the time with Jerry. He's like, oh, I don't know why they position because they always, he ends up caving like a parent with, with a screaming Romo, toddler. If you go back stars, and dude. you look at the Romo negotiations, we literally handled it the same way. It was dumb. We should have paid him money. We could have got him for cheap earlier, and we did this. We did, okay, prove yourself deal. And he did prove himself, and we had to end up paying him more money. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen this See, year. See, that's shooting yourself in the foot. Just give him his bag. Exactly. Give him the $60 Because you, what happens when you start out 4-0 next year, which is a very real possibility, right? $65 and then, million. And then, yeah, then, then the price tag keeps going up. The price tag keeps going up. Buy low. I'm Go over and shake your calls. boy, Jerry. I'm not the one making the calls. They're trying to set it up to be like, oh, we got to make sure we pay CD. Oh, we got to make sure we pay Micah. But the reality of the situation is it's all just posturing. Dak will get paid at some point. We're not going to pay $25 million to a quarterback to go play for another team just so we can see what Trey Lance looks like. Uh, so this is all a mute point. It is just poor management. And in my opinion, it's just, it's stupid. Let's just get it so done. So if, if Dak doesn't sign, if Lu- does that make Ty- losing Tyron Smith like the most painful thing you could possibly experience? Like, because uh, you cle- you let him go and you cleared that cap room to not sign Dak? That sounds absurd. Yeah. You lost uh, a lot of guys, not just him. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at All Michael the, Gallup, yeah. Leighton Van Esch, even though his career was Pollard. over. I mean... Tyler Biotish. We lost a bunch of guys uh, who went to Washington. A lot of guys to Washington. Pollard's at the Titans. Mm. Gallup's cut. Van Der Esch retired. Uh, Neville Gallimore to the Dolphins. Noah Igbenogany signed somewhere else as well. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. We are a team that is very reliant on the draft, and we have hit in the draft multiple times. What's hurt us recently I'll give you is that. that our recruiting class one of our previous recruiting class has been very injured. Uh, we're going to have a couple guys coming back from injury. Mozzie Smith actually had to get shoulder surgery in the offseason. Luke Schoonmaker, shoulder surgery in the offseason. Um, DeMarvian Overshown had career, uh, not career ending, but season ending surgery last year. So it's like we get another linebacker already this season. So I think they are banking a little bit on some of these guys coming back from injury next season but i also think they're relying a little bit maybe too much on how we've been drafting how we've been hitting on the draft this season putting us in a bind but to answer your question about tyron smith a lot of cowboys fans weren't that upset about tyron smith i was very upset about tyron mm-hmm. smith because i think he is when he's healthy the bet one of the best left tackles in the game 
The problem is he might not be healthy when you need him. And so at that point, I think a lot of fans were like, you know what? Yeah. Thank you, Tyron, for your services, but let's let's try and move on. Let's try and get younger. Because he is in the crescendo of his career, the uh, moonlight of his career, rather. Moonlight, yes. To let's not this, re- misuse words. Real quick about because Brandon isn't here to represent the Broncos and his team, right? So mm-hmm. I actually probably for the best. Do I probably <laughs> am I taking crazy pills? Because like they they just posted like who their wide receivers are going to be for this year, and it's like Cortland Sutton, and like Tim Patrick is back, and like that Marvin Mims. Am I taking crazy pills to think like that could actually be a pretty fun wide receiver room? Like I don't think they're going to be godly. I don't think that they're going to be like the most amazing team. But like with a young rookie QB who they're likely going to go get, and like. So an established guy like Sutton who became like their wide receiver one, especially last year with their like his miraculous catches. I don't know. Like I actually feel like relatively confident about the Broncos that they'll have a pretty good season. I think it's more wow. um, based on what ifs, I feel like, because well, like, it, 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 you know, we're banking on Marvin okay. Mims developing. You're banking on KJ Hamler to be You're something. taking crazy pills. You're taking- banking on Tim Patrick returning to form after two season ending injuries. Sure. But- Judy's I mean, gone. I, 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 it's like, Cortland Sutton. I mean, Judy was frustrating. That's the he's thing, too. Yes. Yeah. 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 So I don't, like, I don't think they're going to be the worst team in the league. They could be, but like, I don't think they will be. I think I they're just tanking at this point. I think they're I just realizing, the okay, they uh, had a bad stretch. They were trying to keep patching up a sinking ship, and they're just letting it go. Be like, okay, do whatever. There, All right. I, I, yeah. I, oh, I want to ask okay. a quick question. This is an aside. And I'm totally derailing everything. Which team has the worst wide receiver room in the NFL? The Giants. Besides the Giants. Besides the Giants. Besides the Giants. We have uh, Wandale Robinson and it and, was the Panthers, I think, before they got uh, Deontay yeah. Johnson, which like is it a was. it's a bit of an upgrade, but even that like just it's shows how bad. bad that wide receiver yeah. room was. Like Deontay. Like yeah, Deontay's a wide out too. He's not a wide receiver one. Yeah. They still don't have a wide receiver one. So nope. it's pretty grim. Um the Cardinals can definitely improve, but they're probably going to get Marvin Harrison, Marvin Harrison Jr. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, they need to get Marvin Harrison Okay, sorry. Well, and true. then make your point. Yeah, that's crazy. That's the crazy. Cowboys doing nothing has not been the only of source of news this free agency. Another mm. source of news has been rule changes in oh, the NFL. Yes. The NFL yeah. kickoff, official did- change, hip drop tackles, now illegal. Uh, unfortunately, the NFLPA came out against it, and all the owners unanimously decided, we don't care what you think, NFLPA. Hip tackles are banned. Where do we start first? Hip tackles or new I do the hip drop. Didn't want to, didn't want to change anything drop. real quick. Worst wide receiver room, Chargers. Ooh, the Chargers now have one of the worst because of – Yeah, uh, it's pretty rough. What's his name gone? Quentin Johnson. Uh, Quentin Johnson has like, no hands. You got to hope yeah. that he could develop in his second year, but, yeah, they need wide receivers badly. Shoot, yeah. at one point, Kansas City had a very bad wide receiver room during the Don't season. Matter. And, and they, they won. won a Super Bowl. Their wide receiver so. room this year wasn't good. Like, Rashid yeah, Rice came insane. along and was looking good. Rings. But, like, besides, obviously, Kelsey yeah. and stuff. But Just the rings. Is the um, hip drop tackle going to be the reason why teams lose games in crucial situations? Will this be the new thing we're talking about for a game-winning or game-losing call? It will be because every time there is a rule change in the NFL, it's always a disaster. Remember when they tried to clarify the catch and then they had, and then Nicky, Nickel Rolby Coleman hit, what's his name, eight seconds before the ball got there. And then they're like, oh, you can challenge pass interference. And then that was a disaster. Every time they make a material rule change. However, what I see with this rule change, and a lot of people are just sleeping on it, is it's not a safety rule change at all. Like not many there's, there was, there was trouble finding examples of hip drop tackles where people actually got hurt. Like, yes, it happens. Right. When, especially when you land yeah. on the guy's legs, it's, it's a rare incident. Honestly, it was, it's about scoring. The league wants mm-hmm. more broken tackles. They want less tackling. They want more offense. They want, they don't want to see a game. What is it? Minnesota versus Los Minnesota, Vegas Oakland. In zero, a zero. Yeah. <laughs> with two minutes it's not because of defense. It's sloppy offense and bad quarterback play. You had half the league's quarterbacks injured. You have a bunch of offensive schemes that are garbage. That's why scoring's down. 
They're worried about 48 points going to 40 over the last four years. That's Listen, what they're worried about. I, yeah, but but if I'm a defender, <clears throat> go ahead. I have seen the effects of the hip drop tackle. That's how Tony Pollard got injured in the first place with a hip drop tackle. So I am familiar with what hip drop back. tackles can do. Um, if you look at the Lions game versus the Cowboys in the play, uh, right before the playoffs, rather, Aiden Hutchinson had about two to three hip drop tackles on Dak, and I'm surprised Dak didn't get injured there. So maybe they're overdoing it. With I don't know though. I don't. I just don't know how you enforce this rule when some sometimes, especially when you're coming from behind. Yeah. How else are you going to tackle someone unless you're dropping your hip, tackling well, someone from behind? Five, I didn't want to interrupt you. I think you had a point, right? Uh, no, I was just, I'm, if I'm a defender in the NFL, like I'm thinking of so many things that could get my, cost my team, that could get me fined, that uh, is making me, me being able to play defense and make a living very difficult. I can't arena. hit, I can't hit him in his face. I can't, I, I've got to hit him shoulder to shoulder. I've got to, if he's beat me, I can't hip drop. I cannot grab his jersey. You know, the, if if I'm a, a defender, I'm just gonna look for dreads and just grab them and pull the guy down. Like that's the only yeah. thing that's that's legal, a horse okay? collar, though. Yeah. That's a no, horse no, collar. no, no. It's not a horse collar if I grab his actual dreads, and that's that's actually the hair is part of the jersey. Legal. They did say that. Yes. The hair is part of the- yeah, well, that's what I mean. That's a horse so collar. That's the thing. Oh. Like, I think that what Scooter's talking about, right? Tony Pollard. Like, when this happens it can be devastating for a player, right? Because it can cause injury 100%. I don't think anyone's doubting that. That you could say like, hey, you can try and root this out of the game. Great. I think every football fan, what their outrage is about is one, we think that this is not going to be enforced well because, I mean, even because they had, what was it? I think it was Tony Pollard in the clip, right? Because they put together a clip of like, oh, this is an example of a hip drop tackle. And there were some that looked completely different from the others and i was like well i I don't know if that like i don't know if that's it so i think enforcement's gonna be it i'm hoping and this is what i said on gps i'm hoping that it happens so infrequently that it's not even really an issue and this is called like three times a season i don't think that's my that's my best case scenario because i agree i don't know how you play defense because you can't go low for the legs right you can't go high like five was saying like you can't and again, if you are trying to chase down somebody, like it is going to be very, very difficult. Like everyone's joke about like Derrick Henry and stuff like but that's a legit thing. You have like a 250 pound guy running at you full speed and you're like, all right, well, I got to try to stop him. Like it, it is very, uh, it's difficult. So yeah, no, I, I feel for him. It's just going to be an interesting, uh, interesting experiment the real thing is it's a judgment call in a league that is notorious with really bad judgment calls let's be real here it's going to happen in a very inopportune situation it's going to be controversial as hell and it's going to involve either the vikings or the lions let's be real so and the other thing is nfl players they're smart right they're probably working on or coaches especially are working on alternatives to this they'll figure out some way to tackle that makes it somehow worse every time they change I, like i will give the league credit i thought the horse collar tackle is awful it's not it shouldn't be part of the game Correct. like a lot of guys were getting career ending injuries and 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 yes maybe yeah hip drop tackles have to be eliminated but you saw when you can't hit up high anymore guys are going for the legs and you're seeing more achilles injuries you're seeing more knee injuries that's just going to continue they're going to mm-hmm. go start when a guy gets beat where are they going to go? I can't hip drop. I'm going to shoot the leg and grab onto that dude's ankle and just rip that out and make sure that his ankle is is not worth him. Him going down is not worth his ankle. So that there's always going to – it's Newton's what? Second law, inertia. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. There's going to be – no, second is force equals MA. It's the uh, third law, equal and opposite reaction. Something like that. I, I haven't taken a physics class in a long time. But somebody's getting their leg bodied from this. Mm-hmm. That's what's happening. I'm still trying to learn hockey, and I still pick the Sabres. I mean, okay. I, okay. Sabres mostly depends on a lot of other factors. But, I mean, ooh, that's tough. Bro, we went 12-5 and five the past three seasons. And Stop you keep blaming on the playoffs, dude. This is impossible. You got beat by it's the youngest not team. Impossible. In the I mean, the thing is – 
in hockey, half the teams make the playoffs. In the NFL, only two teams make the Super Bowl. And the odds are actually better that the Sabres do make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. But they are so bad. They are so bad. I don't bad. even know. We'll take the Cowboys. Um, yeah. <laughs> another change this season is the uh, yes. kickoffs. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have seen what the kickoff is supposed to look like, but apparently oh, yeah. now it will be way easier for teams to score touchdowns on these kickoffs. I believe they're taking it from the XFL. XFL, XFL. slash. Yeah. It's yeah. a modified XFL. Mm-hmm. So basically so, the kicker oh, – go ahead, Tom. No, sorry, because, yeah, I don't necessarily agree – Yes and no about like easier to score touchdowns. I the actually I like this. I think it's a little complicated, and you're gonna have like the first two months of like NFL announcers explaining what the kickoff rule is. Yeah, because like, there is there's the landing zone. Then it's if it lands in the landing zone and rolls back into the end zone, that's a different yardage that it comes out on. If it's a touchback, it's a different yardage. Yeah. But I do like that the goal is to get it in the landing zone, which is from the goal line to the twenty. And then once the receipt, like the person catches it, then they can run it back and then everybody can run. I, it's just going to make the kickoff relevant again, because like mm-hmm. I mentioned this in the Super Bowl, there wasn't a single kickoff that was returned. The past yeah. few years, the strategy was just get a guy with a big leg and just boot it out and made a touchback. And that's it. There's one of the reasons why Mason Crosby, besides his accuracy, couldn't stay in Green Bay because he wasn't kicking touchbacks anymore and it was costing the team. And so now it's like, hey, I don't know if it's going to work but it's going to at least try and revive a piece of the game, which is the kickoff return. What is, so if they kick it out of the end zone now with the new rules, what would happen? It, it would be 30, at the 30 yard line, I think. Yeah, it goes to the 30 or 35, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so it gives them an additional like five yards from where they would have been. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if it bounces in the landing zone and then rolls into the back of the end zone, then I think it's the 25, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. So like it's a little bit less penalized because they're basically saying we want people to like we want returners to actually yeah. return the ball, which is great. Like you saw the Steelers, right? They got Cordero Patterson, yep. which is perfect for this because you're and like, yeah, Keyshawn Nixon for Green Bay. Keyshawn Nixon, who last year after a great All Pro season didn't really do much. He was trying to return it like deep in the end zone, but it wasn't really working out. So and uh, basically for a <clears throat> the way that they have it set up for these kickoffs also is that no one's moving. They can only move once the receiver catches the ball, and this is to cut down on injuries. And I think that will significantly reduce a lot of the injuries. And a lot of the kick returners, their reactions have been pretty positive about this change as well because now it's like you only need one crease, essentially, to house a kickoff. Yeah, it's going to be frustrating uh, if your team is has like a 14 point lead and you, you kick off and you get house, but it's going to make special teams important. I just, I, I have to say, I miss the days. I know it was dangerous and I know a lot of people, a lot of players have gotten hurt. I just miss the days when you saw that kicker run up to the ball and kick it and a full um, brigade of football players running and just meeting somewhere around the sure, 30 yep. in a completely violent yep. collision where body parts and limbs were just going everywhere. It just made football sexy. And I'm sorry that it's gone. And uh, it, it, it's better for the, for our players and, and for everything. But man, I missed those. That, the, the that football ball. ain't coming yeah. back, dude. I missed oh, the fullback no. shoulder pads. But no, those days ain't coming back. The neck roll. You don't miss I'm the, so very the neck roll. To see, I'm excited to see how this manifests itself in Madden. Because now, all of a sudden, this is a whole new game uh, in Madden. Yeah. Oh. Do you trust Madden to properly code and not turn it into a buggy mess, though? How, I do. The biggest update they do in years. I do. The kickoff. <laughs> But how now, do onside kicks work, by the way. I, I have missed that memo. I think it ends so, surprise onside kicks. Well, so does, the onside kick is dead. I, I, don't, I don't know about I the actual no, onside they, kick. I don't think they did. They, I don't think they adopted that. I thought they didn't. I didn't because like there was, they were trying to say you could line up in an like unequal equal formation, but you could like you had to do it in the fourth quarter and you basically had to tell, like, hey, we can uh, only do it if you're like trailing at that point yeah that, i don't know if that one's so you can't do the surprise onside kick anymore i guess you would have to just line up and go for it yep so you real have quick, to basically so show your hand just to confirm so any kick that's in the landing zone from the goal line to the 20 it has to be returned right if it lands in the landing zone then goes in the end zone um then it's to the 20 yard line so again you want to get it into the landing zone 
hits the end zone, stays in bounds, returner down, goes to the 30, and then goes to the 30 yard line if it's a touchback. So, so none of this fair if catch. I were, if I were one of these no teams, catch. I'm still kicking it out of the end zone every time. 30 is that you get an additional five, you give an additional five yards to the opposing offense. I'm giving you five yards because it's way too easy to get a touchdown or so you are correct. Yardage. Sorry, you are correct about the onside kick. So that I'm sorry, I didn't realize that was part of the new kickoff rule. So, yes, fourth quarter begins, team trailing has the opportunity to declare it. Um, and they can only do it if they're trailing. Okay, so, there you go. they can only do it if they're trailing. You can't be one of those jerks like in Madden that just goes for it on on an onside kick after every you score and just never let your kid brother play on offense. You're just did you ever do that scooter playing Madden just continually going for I, I, onside I, 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 and timeout yeah. so that you have to get the right people out there. Mm-hmm. This is going to be interesting because will this make its way into college football as well? Uh, very interesting to see how this plays out. Those play, they have no union in college football. They can't. The players cannot speak for themselves until they start putting all their NIL money in the kitty. There's going to be no such thing as player safety in college football. I thought they were trying to make plans to unionize in college football. Is there any word well, of that? They could. I mean, they got to spend their nil money. I mean, everyone needs to organize, right? In 2024, we should have a union. Was Content it, creator no, union. No YouTube. No. Was it be there a, so fast. Isn't there another rule uh, where now it's like the refs or a review person can actively look yes. at calls going yeah. on throughout the game? I think like for certain rules, like roughing the passer or yes. certain other penalties. But my question is, it's my fear is it's going to end the same way as like pass interference, roughing where pass like some blatant call – like aren't called or they just like are just like the ref's egos get because you know, remember the pass interference i think only like two or so calls were actually overturned by that rule and they undid yeah. it the year after so there's yes there's inc- so basically it protected a third challenge so basically if you get you have two challenges if you get one of them right then you could have a third challenge right so it increased like that power there then yes, it, reviewable are now uh, roughing the passer, intentional grounding. If like their knee was down, like when they were trying to like make the throw, like all that stuff is now reviewable. So I mean, I to be honest with you, like that already should have been, especially if it's in like at a crucial moment. I get like pass interference that worked for no time at all, right? That was one season. They're like, we're never doing this again because also officials like weren't changing their mind. But like mm-hmm. especially like if they're out of challenges or something like that, it just keeps the game going, and that shouldn't take too long. It should be like, okay, like, good. Boom, to New York. Yep, his knee was down. Have a nice day. That's football. Yeah, that's football. That's football, baby. That's football. All right. Can we ask how our teams are going to do next year before we mm. get to the countdown? That is the main subject of the show. Yes. We've been holding it off to this point. Uh, should I just go first? I sure. Guess. Do it up. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, how good is your team going to be, Five? <laughs> I said in the chat, we were all talking about like what we're going to talk about in today's show. We're like, oh, we could say like, you know, whose team we think is going to like finish first amongst uh, clickbait and just argue why five would just have to lie. But, Mm -hmm. you know, like, listen, here, I'll ask you this five. Who do you think is going to be worse next season? The Broncos or the Giants? (sighs) That is an unfair question. Listen, (laughs) no, it's a very fair question. Brandon can't defend. Listen, there there are a few things that make me cry, you know, like a good, sad movie, uh, my dating life. Um, wop, wop. Th- thinking about my dad and then the prospects of this giant season, all of those things, you know, I, I am emotionally vulnerable when it comes to the giants and how bad we're going to be next year. We will be worse than the Broncos. We are, if it really depends a lot on whether Daniel Jones is healthy, which is crazy because so yeah, I don't say, think he, it say, say he is healthy and they draft a quarterback. Right. As soon as we're like two and seven, which could be realistic, then JJ McCarthy's ass or Jaden Daniels or no, whoever Bo Nix or Bo Nix is going to be carted out there and we are finished. And Dable is going to like, I'm talking, it is going to be bad, dude. It's going to be, be great. Are you what's, your record? Dude. what's your record going to be? Throw out a record five and 12, five and 12. Five and five. the Broncos will be like seven and. Look. Seven and, seven, seven, and and ten. Ten. seven and ten. Seven and ten. Broncos That's might win six big. games. Six, How are six. you? What teams are you beating? What five teams are you beating? 
The schedule just for that one of them will be. We're gonna beat the Commanders. We're gonna beat the Commanders at least once, and we'll get some fluke win over. Yeah, we'll get some fluke win over the Eagles. Um, oh, and that then, Saquon game is going to be rough. It's going to be brutal. <laughs> it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be brutal. Uh, we're going to lose to the Cowboys twice. We 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 just it, it's it's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal. I think the word you're looking for is glorious, because that's what it will be for me watching this. Well, then, okay, Mister Glorious, what's your what are the Cowboys going to do next year? Uh, Cowboys will be twelve and five. What we've been <laughs> just past, man, that, that is optimistic. Seasons. Dude, that we'll see in January laughing at you. Okay. If, you what would you years. rather have? Been 12 and 5 the past three seasons. Let and you've lost embarrassingly the last three playoff the years. question was not what I think is going to happen. In the, <laughs> the question <laughs> was, what do I think we're going to go? Uh, and based sure. off the past three seasons, I'm going to say 12 and 5. That's fair. What What would you rather have? A 12 and 5 season? And say a one and one in the playoffs, change, and Mike McCarthy comes back, or like say a six win season, and Mike McCarthy is just gone. Remember, oh, you, in both scenarios, you don't win a Super Bowl. Twelve and five. What the heck? Why would I want? No, we're close. Because well, you're just good. you're close. Close. Yeah, close. You've been saying you're close for like five years. Dude. We have been close for like five years. Here's my thing. Mike McCarthy goes, who's coming in? Who's coming in to turn this Anyone. around? Mike Anyone. Zimmer. Anyone. Kellen Who? Moore. Anyone. See, that's my point. My point is mm -hmm. the devil Kellen you Moore. know is better than the devil you don't. Were you saying that with okay. Jason Garrett? No, I wanted him out. I would have taken this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, so, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. so the devil of Jason Garrett was better than the devil of Mike McCarthy. State championship. No, yeah. no. Jason Garrett was not a 12 and 5 Jason Garrett. Jason Garrett was. He did. He had 13 and 3 one year. One year. And three. Yeah. One year. Okay. I'm talking mm -hmm. about consistency. Mike McCarthy is 12 and 5. Jason Garrett was an 8 and 8. Where do you think those memes come from? Jason Garrett. That's where they come from. The 8 and 8. Was Jason no, Garrett? Listen, Fisher Fisher. Fisher. I love this right here. Billy Fisher. Belichick is going to be out there for the end. His name is going to swirl in rumors till the until he's dead. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill you Belichick would be need, like, oh, you know, you when's he just need bring in Bill Belichick over the age of sixty-seven mm -hmm. to be our head coach? Right coach. Now. We need something else. Right? Now. No, if you're getting Jimmy Johnson, dude. Dude, did you just see how fired up he was? Unless he's Jimmy, Johnson. Jimmy Johnson knows no age. He's built different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tom Grossi. Next uh, I'm year's really Packers. excited about this Packers team. Should be. Because, should be. Like, they were the youngest team last year. You know, they beat the Cowboys and then they almost beat the 49ers. I think that there's going to be an additional pressure, obviously. You know, you could see, you know, there could be slumps 100%. But. I mean, the defense, you got to pray is better, you know, with Halfley, you know, getting a new defensive coordinator, Joe Barry's gone. You hope that, you know, with a switch over to like more of a four or three scheme, it's going to utilize some uh, players that haven't been utilized before. Better. And then, of course, McKinney, I think, is going to really, really help that secondary because we so. just didn't. We we let our like one safety walk. Yeah. That's hey, Darnell you're Savage. welcome. You're welcome. Appreciate you. Going to Enjoy Jackson. it. Josiah mm -hmm. DeGuara just went there too, and he was another uh, pick in 2020 that really didn't work out well. So yeah, no, I'm really excited. I think they're still going to draft a running back. I know they're bringing back AJ Dillon on like this one year weird deal, but I think they're still going to draft a running back. Maybe they go get another receiver just to have another one in case for, like for Christian Watson. And then they're going to probably load up on the defense again, get some O-line depth. And uh, yeah, I think they're a very solid team and it's just like potential. And LaFleur was said this at the owners meeting last year when they were drafting, like they didn't even know who, like what the team's going to look like, like who's going to be on the team. They're like, all right, we need tight ends. So let's go get tight ends, what have you. But now they can draft a little bit more intentionally to be like, okay, this is how we're going to utilize this guy because we know what kind of offense we're trying to build. So I'm excited for it. I'm excited to see Jordan what again. What is your record going to be? I think I would float it around like 10 or 11 wins. Ooh. Yeah, I would say, yeah, 10, 11 is good. 11 wins at minimum to me. Like, you're going like, to be good. The division could be like the Lions, like, we're, they're still going to be the main competition. The Vikings, we'll see. It depends on what they do at quarterback. Obviously, they're going to go get one. And then we'll see if the Bears, like, Caleb Williams is going into a better situation. It just depends on how long it takes Caleb Williams to adjust to the NFL. I, I so think the one. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, you don't foresee any regression. Because if you looked at that Packers team at the beginning of the year, they looked terrible. 
they looked not really the bad. very beginning but yeah like that like midway mark like they were looking rough it was I, it was tough yeah i would say that your most key acquisition it, it actually happened late last year was jordan loves confidence like yes. that to me is like he's a completely different player now and the fact that he is like you know he's like i'm the man now i'm a rock star that is going to go really far and that that translates well he's he's here he's arrived so i would say 11 to 12 wins is very realistic yeah i mean they're talking shocked. about like they should love was saying like they could be super bowl contenders like that's the anticipation it's, because like where they were don't, last don't, don't year that in a really weak conference i mean dude like <sighs> They bless you. They almost made it last year. You know what I mean? Like they they almost knocked off the number one seed. They never have to go to Detroit, and like then it would have been that. So, yeah. No, I I have a lot of confidence. And while yeah, there absolutely could be some regression. What we saw and that confidence from Jordan Love, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. All right, Tree, wrap it up. Well, I mean, for the Steelers, there's a lot of question marks. I would say. I mean, it depends how Russell Wilson wasn't. Sorry, Russell Wilson and Justin Fields do. Depends how the wide receiver core flushes out. Depends how they work on their offensive line. Depends on if their defense stays healthy. If TJ Watt goes down, they're down to like a five win team. Let's be completely honest here. But knowing the Steelers, you are a minimum nine win season. It just doesn't matter what they put out there. They can put out a team full of scrubs like me. They will somehow win nine games, and we have no idea how. We have no idea why, and that's just how life goes. So I'm not – like, I feel okay with how the offseason's gone. I actually kind of like how their offseason's gone because I was fearing they'd just stay complacent, but they've been really aggressive and trying to fix issues on the team, and I respect it. And so – I, I would say, as I said, it mostly depends on how things mesh. Like, I'm not at the point where I'm Tom, where I'm, like, jumping on the bandwagon talking about all the stuff, and I'm not Scooter, where I'm going off about how still it's go Super Bowl, even though we'll probably lose in the first round again. But at the same time, I think it's – I'm interested to see where it plays out. Okay. So I'd say nine, at least nine, nine eight, eight, ten, seven, about the same. You're being optimistic. Ten wins with Russell Wilson? The court you never know, man. I, dude, they shouldn't have won 10 last year. <laughs> I mean, that's true. TJ Watt has got to be – that. the one thing is, is TJ Watt is your entire defense. He's exactly. Oh, dude, yeah, TJ Watt isn't healthy. They're done. Together. They're like yeah. four, five, one team. Yeah, but if he's there for 16 games, you know, maybe he just misses one. Okay. Ooh, Ooh 50 bomb. Oh, fitty. Who got the fitty? Oh, there you go. Who got the fitty for the man. kitty? It wasn't me. Uh, but... <clears throat> Must be Scooter. Jason Garrett. Might be Scooter. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Scooter. Listen, no, we've seen what Jason Garrett. Saban. We've seen what Jason Garrett can do. The devil uh, in, you know, though. In ten years, uh, mm -hmm. let, we're putting Nick Saban. Okay, so we're putting Nick. We're putting there is actually real quick not to like. I, I, this is not being facetious at all. Like, so one of the super chats said like Vrabel to the Cowboys, dude. Like, legitimately, I think that would be a good move. That'd be a good move. That wouldn't be a bad yeah. move. Good I move. would not be opposed to a move like that, like a younger quarterback, a uh, younger coach, rather. Uh, and inspires so some confidence, has a swagger to him. We'll see, though, because it will be a mute point if we won the Super Bowl mute. this season. Moot point, yes, moot point. Moot. I like that. I'd we'll say it mostly on. depends on if, like, uh, Mike Vrabel and Jerry Jones and their egos can coexist. I would say that would be the main key. Because, remember, Vrabel lost a power struggle with Rand Carthon. They bat butt heads a lot, apparently. Mm -hmm. we'll train tj watt unless they are getting every first round pick forever i don't think that's gonna i don't think they're gonna get every first round pick ever late 20s i mean you might get a Khalil mack return right now but yeah. even then like with that much uh mileage i don't know if you're gonna get much more than i like a would first that even be considered general. that like so the position you're in right if let's just say like this year doesn't go well and they're like all right we're gonna get a brand new quarterback our defense needs to be upgraded mike tomlin let's just say finally like sails off into the sunset do you think that would be a world that's like, you know what? Now we're going to trade TJ Watt. We're going to get as Maybe. much draft capital as possible. Like that's the Depends only on the return. Depends on the we'll return. You, yeah. you do have high Smith, so you do have some edge presence. It oh. mostly depends on how Nick Herbig develops. Wow. Ooh, 50 see? memberships. This there counts. you go. Crazy wow. That does not count. This counts for money. We convert it. Doesn't. it money. No, it doesn't it count. count. It, it, it doesn't. You. It does. Yeah, Brand new members he put 20 to me. Unfortunately, that counts. Join the yeah. Discord. Join the Discord. You have a Discord? Join it. Join Crazy. it. Join oh, it. Oh, yeah. Join what it. goes down in the Discord? Appreciate you. Does it go it's down in the DM? It's grand old time. There's a lot All right. Can we do the, the countdown? Okay. Let's we'll do it. Oh, we got to talk about Brandon. What, what do you think? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. A uh, chat we'll speak for us. Brandon. Yes. I already said six wins. So, 
Um, I could see them having like eight, nine. Ooh, wow. I, eight or nine. Who's their quarterback? Who is Jared their quarterback? Stidham. I Jared think it's Stidham right now. I eight think wins. I, I do. I think that they have, like, their defense is not terrible. It, it got better last year after the 70 points got scored on them. You know, you got to hope that Javante is going to have a good year, too. Like, I think they're going to really invest in the running game. I don't know. I think that they could maybe sneak it out because I don't know how good the Chargers are going to be because the Chargers, who the hell knows what they're going to do. The Raiders, who knows? Their defense is going to be really good. The Raiders defense, I'm excited to see because it's just going to be fun. And then the Chiefs are the Chiefs, right? Like Russell Wilson was able to beat the Chiefs last year at least one game. Like there was a time we were talking about like, oh, the Broncos could go to the the playoffs. Didn't last very long, but there was a time. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Like maybe they get eight nine. It's that Sean was, Payton running the team. That would be my optimistic. The Broncos are winning four games next season. Oh, wow. The I Giants are winning three games next season <sighs> and will be the worst team in the NFL. Oh, the Broncos. You know the what? Tra- if that oh, takes, if that's what it takes to tank and get like the number one overall pick instead of like if you're gonna lose. Go all the way, right? And don't finish seven and, you know, don't have a number six pick. Have the number one. You know what I'm saying? You can't like, be middling. You have to be really yes. bad you or have to really be good. Yes. Yeah. If you're the Steelers, you're done. You're that's the Steelers, really yeah. Else. I mean, like, but that's where the Broncos have been too. Like, they're in this weird hell where they're good enough to win a bunch of games. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, well, crap, we can't go draft a quarterback or like in the top 10. So. The worst mm-hmm. thing you can be in professional sports is average. Yeah, that's the Steelers. Right. Fit day. I do hope God, uh, if the Jaguars aren't better this year, there's gonna be some panic in Jacksonville. Oh, I think Peterson and Bulky get fired yeah. in that case. Oh yeah. yeah. I don't think they'd miss Bulky. I think much, Bulky should have been gone last Bulky year. Bulky should have been gone already. Yeah, I think you have I don't even know why you hire Bulky. Bulky's been trash in San Francisco. You know how he didn't make the playoffs that yeah. was just crazy Dude, it, it was it choked down. but you Jumped. know what it's, it's right. like the titans the year before they did it it was just worse because they would they lose seven games after that packers thursday night seven. game they and then the injuries season. happened yeah and then the yeah. jaguars they choked it away too like it was just and that division like is gonna be competitive right oh, yeah. let's see how anthony richardson does with the colts i'm excited for that Dude, okay. cj stroud second season that's gonna be a lot of titans fun. defense should be pretty good titans defense is gonna be really solid absolutely we'll see what will levis does but yeah jaguars gonna have some competition baby and also i think if 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 it's a bad year for say trevor lawrence you're gonna have to start having questions about him you know? i said there'd I mean, be concerns I'm not, yeah concerns not i mean CJ's yeah you give him at least another year or two but yeah he's it's counted it's as this generational talent isn't it crazy to think Trevor Lawrence was the best quarterback from his class? That was one of the weakest quarterback classes. Oh, yeah, Dude, 2020 and that was, was that was hype. Twenty twenty one was hype to hell. Twenty twenty two was worse. Like yeah. the only thing saving that is Brock Purdy. I mean, Zach Wilson went number two overall in twenty twenty one, and and then I, Ian Book somehow got drafted. Ian Ian Book. Book. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to do the countdown? Or TJ Watt. Ooh. Ooh, Sid the Kid or TJ Watt? Ooh, I gotta go Sid the Kid just because of what he meant to the franchise. TJ Watt's, Watt's really got close. Two though. Rings. Got two rings. Oh yeah, we three rings. Keep, yeah, there also three, is potential three. that the Panthers right. are like again the worst team in yes. the league. Like, Don't sleep also on is, the Panthers. Yeah. Oh, dude, do, they had, they paid a hundred million dollars to Robert Hunt. What are you talking about? I do think that they'll be better. I just I hope it's for Bryce Young because Pern and I talked about this. Sorry for to keep the health. show going. Yes. If the oh. Panthers actually had the first overall pick like this year, uh, like Per and I both agreed, I think they Josh Rosen, Bryce Young, and they go get Caleb Williams. Like I don't even and think that would be hilarious. Good. Yeah, that would be so hilarious. But, Where uh, is Josh Rosen? He was He's on the unemployment line. Yeah, he, he was, was in Tampa. He was in Atlanta was for in a hot Tampa minute. Little he little was bit, really yeah. bad in Atlanta. I, I, I would guess he, he's probably he's a free agent. lighting at probably yeah, a probably business a or he's yeah. at McDonald's I somewhere. I think I he's <laughs> probably getting a stockbroker's license. He's a free agent and he's 27 years old. That's they ruined that guy. That's yeah. the draft, Oof. baby. That's mm-hmm. the I thought he was going to be the draft safest shoot. pick. You probably have better odds in a slot machine. You actually do have better odds with a slot machine than you do in drafting a quarterback. It really is. I don't know if that's true. At least a slot machine eventually pays out. (laughs) You'll pay like a buck. (laughs) Yeah, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. They got nothing for Josh Rosen. Countdown. Countdown. Here we go now. Come on. We're going to do it again, baby. 
just like we do every time we do it. 2019, 18, 17, 16, 15, 4. The Green Bay Packers are gonna take away the lion's roar. That's right, I rhymed roar with four. That one was a new one. No one no one saw that one coming. And then I I just stopped after the first bar. Kind of like how the Cowboys stop after the first round of the playoffs. You know, that kind of thing. Sorry, I had to. Jo- is Sarah a real person? This does not. Is this is that an actual person? You never know. Is that a catfish? You We're never know. Catfish. A little sus right there. All right, so I mean, five, you're you're a catfish. I'm concerned about that 50, but then, Scooter, what'd you get? Don't don't worry about what I got. What did you get? I got $130.06. I got $113.03. Yes. I got $31.99. Tom Rossi. Okay. Well, Parna's taking so many losses. He does. does That Taylor Swift punishment is going on for years. Yes. Um, I I still have to make muffins. Which okay. I have the muffin mix. I have that. So it, it is all ready. Uh, I didn't know if we were doing a show. So, and then uh, I have the apron <laughs> and everything too. I have the apron. I have the chef's hat. So Ooh. I got it. Are you going to cook it. like Russell Wilson in Denver? Let it burn to the ground? Can we Can we have you go to WrestleMania with a sign that just says ass on it? <laughs> <laughs> I am not getting kicked out of WrestleMania. I There is no shot. Could it be A with the $2 sign no, 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 no. on it instead? You have to wear... The Perna shirt. At Ooh, WrestleMania. WrestleMania. Mm. Oh, it's really yeah. big on me, though. Oh, dude, it's big on me too. All right, all right, all right. Like Listen, you have to wear it and at, at least, least for like take get a, a shot. Picture. Yeah, One yeah, shot, yeah. Like a shot. Make a the, make a little wait, like you know two what? minute Screw video. It. I'll bring I'll bring wait, the shirt. I think I... someone else added. Did uh, does this count? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> that's after yeah, the that's bell. Right. That's, that's the point of the that's it's the point over. of the countdown. So here's it's what I'll do. It's I, I think we can we can settle here. Either on Raw, right? Either on Raw. Or at, at least one night at WrestleMania, I'll bring the Perna shirt and I'll hold it up so it's on TV. Hold it up. Yes. Uh, yes. You will it, you will be on TV. You're that close. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I'm so or funny. you could alternatively just put it on and then be on TV for a yeah. second and then take it off. All right, I gotta find sort. it. I have to okay. go find that. Yeah, I've gotta shirt. find mine too. It's not the worst, it's like the worst and a most unflattering fit cut of a shirt that you could it's possibly. It's a really soft shirt though. It, it is, is very really soft, don't get me wrong. I loved how Nick designed it and sent it to us all for free, which was amazing. But it is like the most unflattering shirt I've ever put on. Like I look like I don't. I don't even know. Like a large salmon or some kind. I like it. put that shirt. Perfect playing basketball. You like it? Oh. There you go. And they're like, you got when you can, I have a video on Arian Foster. Remember he Ooh, said he could Arian fight. Foster. Remember he said he could fight a wolf one on one. And but, Tom, you will also be in the video because he said the NFL was scripted, and so it spawned that. That basically spawned your whole series. You're because talking about of that comment. Man. Texans yes, Arian Foster. Yeah, Arian Foster. I did not know that his mom was a Mexican American, so he's eligible for the All Latin team oh, if he were to, goodness. you know, if he wanted to. All Latin tree. Mm-hmm. Well, I am working on the Ultimate Guide to NFL Free Agency. AFC edition should be out tomorrow. NFC nice. should be out pretty close thereafter. Skits. I'm working on a video called "When Your Team Goes All In." <laughs> hard uh, hardest Kyle working comma in the english language yes that's right mm-hmm. skip bayless be, gonna be uh, all over that tonight i tree i think you're there too right the raw ball podcast yep, they're I've doing got a there. fundraiser mm-hmm. I'll are you be there, there. Um, when they start at seven yeah they start at seven so i there's also another one that i'm doing later with a uh a mariners podcast as well i'll be there around 10 so i don't know if i'll stay the entire time but i mean yeah i can I'll stay for like 45 for the raw ball so yeah. i'll see you there tree Absolutely, I'll see you oh, there too. You guys sir. are hanging out. What, what is oh. this? Yep. What's going on? Uh, they're doing a charity stream. We we went with them, the Raw Ball podcast. They like yep. did they did a charity stream for like opening day. Where can uh, people last watch year. this? Hmm? Where can Raw people Ball. watch this? It's on YouTube. The, yep, it's on YouTube. Yeah, Raw I, Ball I podcast. I'll, all I'll, I'll retweet it as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, you so. two have fun. Uh, where's right, my kids, We'll see you when we I'm see you. I'm going out drinking tonight. I don't know when that is. Do what you gotta do. You do like another episode. Bald.